Uh, what are the two bets in the start of the game player? One for the purity of choice between the two factions, the other for the purity of choice for the kind of pretty color. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be playing my blue, and he gets paid 400 gold anyway. What faction am I even taking here? I'm pretty sure I'm playing vampires. Yeah, I'll just play vampires. I'll go for Anna. Um, good luck, have fun. Hmm. And we're playing up against Onion. <laughs> Skeletors, okay. Um, how do I do this? Fire Magician, that's not very good. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be over here and then we'll have to like walk out all the way down. That's not very good. The knowledge is like really spread apart as well. Despite having a good gold mine guard, this might actually be a pass after all. Maybe. Maybe. No bet this game. Uh, we should be having bets. One moment. He keeps I one on one. There you go. The bet's a lie! Bet away! Your life savings are not worth the opportunity to be in the money. You could be winning it all. Wait, what the hell do you mean one-on-one? -on -one? I have, like, the best bunker now. Like, the best bunker. Free scrolls? Go, uh, like, Scully? Just go, lol. But no. Can't have the best bunker ever, huh? Oh my god, Skull Tours again. Actually, with these kind of Skull Tours, I think I'll upgrade and just have the Skull Tour pulse tag. Um, it's pretty good in Galfriend's case specifically because um, what happens is uh, Galfriend is, uh, only has Skull Tours at the very beginning, so he actually benefits from the speed more than from any other speed. So that's good. Still not a lot of bad Sage. <laughs> Wait, I have zero scrolls so far. So what I need to do is just go pick up the scrolls. Um, so yeah. Bam, bam, boom, boom. And, uh, yeah. I need to explore over there. Dig. No. Wait, imagine if I would dig right now and find it. <laughs> would that even be good? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Soul prison. Especially with girlfriend, too. Wow. I guess I will go for the town because I'm Necro and because I benefit from having the town. So quite a bit. I see, Aislinn is not a good choice. It might be a decent choice, it's just not the choice I want to make. He might be a choice, but he's not my choice, you see. Did I go on the road? The road sucks. I think I save my DD, go here, and then DD onto the, road, onto the town. Yeah, that's the play, actually. I can see the play already. Eh, small, small price to pay for greatness. FOR GREATNESS! <laughs> it's so easy. Bad roads? Yeah, miss me with that. I need to wait right now. Boom, boom. Um, yeah, so here we go. Nice Alexia Deepak. Deepak? What is that? Hey, Gova. We are gonna be going for the observatory, probably picking up some vampires. I also need some more ore as well. Okay. Dude, imagine I get the obelisk and the grill is literally in the hex that I misclicked. Then every single time I would misclick on a hex like that, I would just dig, right? 
Actually, yeah, that would be not good. I wish I really don't want to get the obelisk this game. I feel like it's gonna be giving me like a really bad win rate across uh, very many games if I get it. Um, there is an estate, though I kind of want the ore too. I also want some other things too. Um, I can get the ore over here, but there's no estates down there, and I do want the estates. I can get the uh, warehouse for now. I guess the sword pile will do. So, what do you have the OR? I mean, the, uh, the gems. Now I have the OR. Okay, so then we can go double estate immediately. And then we're gonna be picking up this. Which is uh, pretty good. By the way, mid is comfy now. I think mid is comfy. Mm hmm. I think that's okay. Obelisk no longer. Oh, like shop meta. Why well, go for quite a few? For a grill here and there. It thought it'd be fun if it was like every single game, but it's still like decently represented. Ooh, that's actually possibly Vampir. Anyway, this is all the crystal that I need. So now I have all the resources, right? Yeah, I have all the resources for... Vampir Lord Gaming. And I even... Well, no, that's probably more like a ledge box, to be honest, but... It could be, if it's low pack. Vampire Lords. Earth Magician, that's good. And then I think I will... Oh my god, so accurate. Scouting! Honestly, like, Advanced Earth here would be really good, but it is what it is. I'll go for Guild of the Mages, for Necro Amplifier. I have all the resources that I need. I just need to get back into... Yeah, just go and collect everything. I will probably also trust the Ancestors game to you. I think that's a good thing to do. Always trust your ancestors. And, uh, yeah! Okay. Uh, we're milk, you promised. I drank it. Please give me a level up for Earth, just randomly. I know it's like, uh, actually, it's not too bad odds for that. But, it's still a little bit unlikely. Vampire Skull. I already had a Vampire Skull anyway. Not to mention I don't even care about the Saudi at all. Oh, uh, Light Chest. This could be Vampire Lows, actually. Uh, very easily and realistically. Uh, okay, so here we go, we're back here, we can go for all the marketplaces as well. Uh, Winter Run Vampire Laws are pretty good timing, actually. But now I need a bunch of experience. Yeah. I think I will actually go for the Freaky Boss, still. Yeah, I think it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, easy. Wow, wait, actually, it was that easy? That's intriguing. That's a lot of dead that is walking. I got like 200 on this turn? What the hell? What the hell? Uh, okay. Hmm, that was an interesting turn. 
I need to upgrade all of them to be able to do like some of the fights that I suspect of being the uh... Wait, dungeon. Wait, what? Oh, I'm playing up against Comfy. And um okay, and like I can put all the dots here. Yes, it took me a little while more than it should have, but uh <laughs> I got there. I got there. Well, I have the marketplace, so I'll training up this um Guild Mage. Could be fine. Yep. This here rarely functions at all. Ah, uh, he does function. He does function. I mean, last game he had the high roll. And I kind of expect that high roll, but... It's still a high roll. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be going for the Lich Box. Hello, a vampire lord. Okay, that's nice. That is beautiful. Beautiful. And now we go back to Agony, and now we can just go ahead and break 25, right? That's good, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go be champion steel. There's a limit of one vampire box. Um, so the this one is 100% liches, and I don't care about liches. So we don't. I should probably pick up these top balls along the way so I can get enough resources to build up the magic university so I can then, well, build stuff, I guess. <laughs> nice cheat, thank you. I invented it myself. Can I even do stop balls with this? I think stop balls are harder than the break. At least big ones, of course. Do you even split vampires in this kind of case? I think you do. Just have to make sure that they finish the fight in Union. Let me in! Ooh, Air Magician, okay. Is the break? There's a break. Okay, it's certainly not here. Yeah, oh. Um, that's not a break. I mean, that did a break, but it's not the break. It's not a break, you know? So, I'm only gonna be reaching my, the mid on the next turn after. Is that actually completely abysmal for Comfy? That's interesting. He might be in mid, though, for all I know. Uh, we shall see. Library? I'm not on level 10. <laughs> PMA, what is that? BMA stands for Positive Mental Attitude. But, uh, yeah, what is that? Oh no, don't blind me. Ooh. We're doing a lot of damage. Oh, I'm just taking a lot of damage. Hmm. We'll never know which one it is. Nice. Hmm. 
Okay. I have more towns by now. I also have this, so that shows to me that Fizzy is kind of a loser right now. Which is a little bit tough to see, really. Honestly, like, the time is being, like, a little bit brutal. He could have, like, added at least, like, a little bit of knowledge here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be just pushing mid, right? Yeah, I'm just pushing mid, to be honest. Okay, so he's a man, finally. Wait, am I... Okay. Yeah, okay. But they could, like, not moral, though. That'd be pretty cool. Wait, can you, like, not exist? Thank you. I don't think I'm doing the top job, but I will be doing this box. Wait, how do you lose this? I could do a lot of damage if they all connect. Why do I think Dune's off the small corpses? Come on. Next time I get the black dragon, then I then and then I push from men. That's pretty good. Wait, will I be able to reach men? No, I shouldn't be viewing right now. I should be viewing on the next turn, actually. So this is the first turn that is not uh, played together. The Gova could get get the lead in. I don't know. He's in the middle of the two towns. If I can actually reach that, then I actually should do that. But I don't think I can. This road is like way too bad. Dude, look at his road and look at my road. What is that? Oh my god, it's Black Dragoons! Yeah! Okay, uh, not. Okay, don't panic, don't panic. We have Black Dragoons, but don't panic. Can I actually maybe, maybe reach? Like, I can see this far, right? I can do here and then here. But then flyless do this much. No, this only. So I should just be farming something. You have no mana, I understand. I mean, if I got the mid, I would be able to beat him anyway, but... So, right now I should go back with the... Uh, Borough of the Dark. Get this. And get this. And then I can be pushing for either the other desert town, or actually I'm just doing Utopias again. So yeah, just do like plenty of Utopias and see where that leads me. I should be left with like pretty high stats, some other possibilities, and so on. By that point, I can also like be developing this town as well. I think that's a vaguely good idea, but we'll see. Mm hmm. Okay, he's out there. That's fine, I guess. <clears> oh, <throat> that's not a very good dodge, but whatever. Grass. Hmm, I need to deal with these titans. Interesting. And then I have the exact amount of moves to get this and get back. Maybe I don't want to get back. Anyway. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's good. Oh. Oh. That's good. Yeah, okay. So... Uh, the first two top was bad. The second one was good. I approve of this.
Seems like a cozy outcome altogether. Uh, pretty nice. So wait, I need to set up Argus Lance, of course. That's gonna be my one... That's gonna be my two, sure. Then I'll slot in the goose here at some point. Um, naturally. Mm -hmm. you get, I need to get like the rest of the vessel slot R2s though, for sure. I could have stayed there, but I don't think that... Well, maybe it was a good idea. How many? Can I see? No. Can I see that far? Okay. Actually, it's just barely not there. Eh, whatever. Oh yeah, I wanted to build this down. Um, let's do that. Uh, just marketplace for now. Um, so again, don't have to do it later. Mm, so he's just sitting there with pretty power. Yikes. Wait, I don't think I can reach. Pack of Phoenixes, this is clearly Liches. SOJ, nice. So, the beginning of this turn is gonna be decent. I mean, the beginning of uh, Farm of the Side of the map is gonna be decent. Mm hmm. Chapel. And uh, yeah, that's an earthworm too, by the way. You can see the swirls on the left side. Uh, does he have black dragon? No, this is a one trade army. And I have black dragons. And he didn't make one stacks. Wait, what? Isn't he dumb? No, but I don't have logs actually. That's so sad. I don't think I can reach that. So unfortunate. He doesn't move this, just not a lot. 1800 here. Okay, like 1800, let's say 800, the uh, 1k, boom, boom, and then I have 600 to make this much. No, no, just not a thing. <coughs> Good lawyers are apparently hard for a guy, so I'll help it out by using Counter Strike and Auto. Man, these. Um, so this was a lot of power that I just gained this turn. That's amazing. Uh, really good stuff. I'll say maybe. I may have wanted to be pressured into it, but no. Um, not anymore. I have 33. No, but I'm gonna be hiding some of it at least. Um, not all of it, so it's not like too obvious, but some of it. I will still keep building. Wait, I can labyrinth, that's what I want then? And then. Oh, yeah. I might just be rushing mid on the following turn, actually. Why well, don't want to fight him? Um, you are incorrect, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, so he's in the middle of this detail. So you see something good there, so he's gonna be farming. That's fine. Oh, Utopia, I probably want that. Oh, and a Karas too. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, good. Oh! Okay. Uh, Lime Shield is very welcome, and Nerf Dome is pretty welcome too. Mm hmm. I think my power is actually going to be slightly higher than his, even, by now, the Dukaras. Despite him, like, pretty much investing everything in power. That's fine. I don't care much about the Sundar army. Um, yep. Some Black Dragons, really good casting, really good um, setup. Um, it is mine. He's going to give it up, by the way. I'm pretty sure. I'm, like... Almost certain he's gonna give it up right now. What am I missing for this? Oh, a T1. This is really hard to build things, so I'm gonna get it out of the way immediately. Um, and I cannot equip the um, economy right now either, of course. Yeah, the cats are OP in all games. Is that so? So, he is not defending mid. Yeah, he's just giving it up. Let me try and see the map layout. Ooh. That's a pretty disgusting layout, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> oh yeah, I need Nigel double two. Wait, oops. Uh, what did he build here? Probably the Vortex, to be honest. <laughs> Probably, I mean, if the Oasis are not a thing anymore. And he's also in the diamond, there's also no stables in the game. Wait, there might be stables. Is that Rampy? Do I know? It is Rampy, okay. Well, they could be like external stables. Mm, I'm safe, it's fine. At 50 rating, maybe one day Lexi will reach my level. Well, maybe I will. Uh, he's over there, so he's gonna be going for the other desert. Okay, so, um, I know exactly what I want to do. So, yeah, let's just do it. I will be going with the Black Dragons as well. Ooh, that's not good. I don't even know what I want my last skill to be. That is good. I bet he's going for power to grind that again, though. And that would be kind of fine, though. Against Black... I mean, Black Dragon's still on defense, kind of handle that pretty well. Um, so wait, we're going to Ventia. And we're going out dimensions, and then we're gonna be double checking. No, I should not be double checking. I don't have a timer. Uh, that's a lot of stuff that I can get. Um, yeah, sure. And then lots of. I've got fairly sulfur. That's enough, right? Yeah. Um, cool. So with this, what we can do is we can build a dragon cave. We can build the um, full of summoning, get another dragon, and then. Uh, we can return and chill for like a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, that is indeed very, very good. Wait, so times are living, but giants are not? No, both are living. Um, they're both living, but they're both, uh, mind spell immune. The reason why they have 10 HP is because they are... They're giants. Uh, your top shka. That's good. Um, here, 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 here. That's good. Um, that's just like a little bit of an annoying setup for the Utopia, but that's okay. Did I just get a necklace? No, I didn't. Imagine getting nice things. Ooh, library box. That's decent. Does damage actually. Medusa. 
That is emotional damage to me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, and then I can already get the black again. So that's pretty cool. He's right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Um, okay. He is Indian Grande. That's fine. I think I'm gonna go for the top shotgun. That means I'm only gonna go with the vampires for now. Please go. These are Gorgon. These are easy. I don't need to go with only vampires by this point. Especially after I upgrade the Black Dragons. Nice batch of them. That's gonna be pretty epic for me. Mono Kings. I can still do a DD. No, I can't really. Um, Keep upgrading. And keep on moving forward. I'm gonna be... Probably upgrading the cats here too, right? Probably. Um, I saved a little bit of timer here. And I got some army. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. The same story as Opera from Warcraft 3? I don't think so. Um, he's still chilling back. Oh, man, the... Then... Uh, Ventu is gonna be the place where I get the, the resources at. I don't need any wood. I do need, like, a lot of ore, though. And sulfur. That's nice. Um, that should be good enough. So now I can go over to Burrow of the Dark and upgrade and upgrade and that's awesome. And then also I'm gonna cast steel. Also I probably I don't know, these walking dead are kind of just dead weight for me by this point. I'm not gonna use them for now. I'm gonna leave them. Then we will be like accumulating the scullies here little by little, but we're not like all about that. Mm -hmm. He's getting stats and I'm gaining live dragoons and some other army as well. I'm doing a lot of utopias as, as well. Don't need it. But why'd you go there? That's pretty far, you know, for someone that you don't need. I'll take it then. I still like plenty of Dragon Gaze, but all of these are on his side. That's pretty annoying to me. I really don't want to fight outside either. So I will be coming back into the town every single turn. Um, actually I should be getting the Goose by now as well. I might not be able to afford everything otherwise. Unlimited amount? That doesn't make sense. That does make absolute sense. Like, it's just not limited. Like, whatever spawns, spawns. Um, that's like, almost every single GC objective is unlimited, you know? Like, how many has been spawned? Well, it's unlimited. Might be zero, might be ten. Might be more. Wait, oh, I don't do this, okay. My no tours. And then I guess I'll get the goose team. Wait, what? Wait, this is, what? It looked like the head of the goose to me. Wait, I got scammed real hard. Wait, that actually looked like the geese to me. But it wasn't. Huh. Well, that's fascinating. Wait, he's gonna be trying to reach me next turn. I need to be on battle setup, actually. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to reach me right now. Interesting. Hmm, thank god I noticed. I probably want to get the castle here. Mm hmm. Wait, then I should be deleting the skull. This morale, minus morale, is not worth it right now. Just for this much army, at least. Vampira? No, Vampira is whatever. Mm -hmm. Unlimited means not cap. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. Um, he is all the way over there. That's fine with me. Let's head in this direction. Oh, Dwelling Utopia. Okay. I'll go for this one. Ooh, library. Nice. 
I really don't want to get breached still. I'm not sure if I'll be able to not get breached still. Nine of Kings. By the way, like, Scorpio Card Dwellings are pretty good too. Can I stay in this location and not get reached? The road completely doesn't support this journey for him, so I'm pretty sure this is actually safe. And, uh, yeah, I'll stay here. I think this is a proper thing to do. Ah, uh, we're getting some extra dwellings, we're getting some extra army, all of this is kind of nice. And I can already build into the secondary drum cave, which is wonderful. And speaking of which, I can also do... By the way, he's definitely pressuring me right now. Like, pretty much every single time, uh, he pressures on this timing. So I am expecting for him to be just running at me. Oh yeah, I also need a necklace. Don't I have one? No, I don't. Hmm. Imagine spoiling portal summoning. No, no, no. I mean, it's already spoiled. I have a vampire dwelling. If anything, this made it uh, way more likely to get something decent for me. Like, it is every time, every game, in this moment. The pressure is actually not there. Unless this is an oasis spot. There's no pressure. That's good. And then we find another drunk cave too. That's amazing. So I get four dwellings this week. By the way, this boss is pretty good. I kind of want to stay here. This is not reaching. Wait, actually he's like here on the road. This could be a surprise attack. I'm gonna prefer it. Because if he doesn't take this down on this turn anyway, then I just win, right? So... There's no, no reason not to prepare. Yeah, there's really not a reason not to prepare. And if I get to the new week, then I probably just win. Oh, uh, 45, 48. Stats are very similar. Okay. But I don't think I see the goblins. Um, yeah, he's back there, that's fine. Let's immediately go for the dragons. Wait, actually I need to... Mm -hmm. And then I also want to save the vortex by doing this. 26 black dragons! Then I think I should claim side zone. I do have wisdom. Okay, library, Coliseum, that's all really nice. <clears throat> um, yeah. He could be going for like a pot of the Dragon Father timing with like high power, which is like what... Which is uh, what I think the key is actually going for. That's also not really good into Black Dragons either, you see. So... Yeah, I just think that whatever he's doing right now is just not really good. Again, specifically what I'm doing. It's good in general, but um, in this kind of case, I think I can outmatch him. Um, yep. Then I can save a little bit more timer. I can build up a castle here. Oh, 49 power. Yikes. Anyway, oh, my power's pretty good too. 53. Nice. <clears throat> I couldn't get that Coliseum. That's a bit unfortunate, but okay. Huh? Oh, hello. Wait, how does he have lots of black dragons? I was supposed to be the only one with lots of black... He actually probably found every single dragon box. That's kind of yikes. By the way, what is lots? 
22. Okay, that's acceptable. I need to be rolling my army a little bit. <laughs> uh, the double mana here is perfect. Was there anything decent in the art dimensions? I don't remember. I don't think I'm going to be using the Undead Army. Most more would be too much of a punishment. Army is good and stable. Item equipments are... Oh, uh, it could be a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, this is what this will be. This will do. Mm -hmm. I'll be losing this. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we're losing, but uh, I think it's still probably going to be close. Tavern. Oh yeah, Tavern would have been good. True. Vampire. Uh, 42 vampires do nothing in the context of this fight, and the minus 2 morale hit by using them is way too big of a price. Oh, so he did need a library at all. I see how it is. Um, yeah. DD's over and attacks, yeah. I think I have more cats, I have more black dragons, I have more Minotaurs, and stats are about the same after the library. And I don't think he's using any combo out either. Actually, the Elixir might be a thing. Yeah, he might be using the Elixir, which would be pretty painful for me. I also have the castle advantage. Oh no, he's not using the Elixir. And he's using double minus power RTs. Okay. He also has using plus speed. Ah! Really? I see. I mean, if we just trade chains, I'm pretty sure I win. Because my black giants are stronger than this. Um, he has these stormies that are pretty annoying. I can kill all of them. Do I want to focus on that though? Not really. Him summoning a stack and protecting it would be annoying, but not to that big of a degree. <laughs> As long as I win the black uh, black drain battle, then I think I win. And I have armor offense, which I would suspect that my opponent does not have. 99 damage, possibly golden bow? Interesting. I'll just kill that soul. It doesn't need to eat up a chain, it doesn't use protection, you know, like... For general purposes, I think killing that is really good. Because black dragons will be moving first. That's okay. Wait, he can actually... I should be trying to prevent him taking the retaliation with the Scorpio cores. Which I'm able to do by just sitting here, which is really good. Yeah, him taking the uh, retaliation right now would be awful for me. But he's no longer able to do so. And plus 2 plus 1, he has uh, plus 3 minus 1. I think that the um, RNG rolls are probably going to be... should be in my favor, on average. We both have a tremendous amount of mana, more mana than we could ever use, I guess. So mana should not be relevant in this fight. Check for Elixir? Already dead, of course. His two RTs are Interference, and um, yeah, he has inter Interference RT, as well as a Speed RT. I wish I had some Interference too, it would have been good. Honestly, I should have probably prior prioritized it quite a bit. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. Hey, Marcus. What up? Oh, uh, where's called Pile Stack? Uh, but didn't go for one. Um, this is... I mean, with Dungeon Mid, it's gonna be like a Black Dragon game, you know? And that's exactly what we're currently having. You need to get rid of Shooter, I think. The Shooters are not that relevant. And yes, they will be gotten rid of anyway, so... Not a problem. There's no way that Black Dragon can hide, so I will definitely trade hits with him. That means that I may as well take Retaliation and do some damage to you. Yep, he already knows what I'm doing, and that's okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is the morale chance of uh, plus three? It's one in four, I believe. No, one in... I think it's one in 24. Or one in 25, anyway. Uh, basically one in four. Wait, thought? I didn't mean one in 24, anyway. Yep. 
I able to just sit here and like, just blast his face with my dragons. And then I'm able to like kill all the rest of this army too while I'm at it. That's pretty good. He's not gonna be able to protect, and everything that he summons would be immediately gone anyway. Wow! And then there's a uh, luck proc as well. That's pretty good. And yeah, I completely dominate the Black Dragon battle and the fight! What now? His best option would be to summon, but the summon is met with an immediate chain at the, the beginning of the next turn. And the, it does not hold enough tempo to kill all the Black Dragons in time either. Yeah! Woo! Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Did you get, actually, five dragon boxes? Because I only got one. No. Okay. So there's still some remaining. I only got one. <laughs> nice game of dragons. Mm. That one won you the game. That one dragon box, you mean? Maybe. I mean, I deserve it though, so it's all good. Actually, I can even just wait instead of immediately attacking. That means if he summons, he's dead. Wait, actually, don't I have lethal completely? Well, I have lethal at the beginning of the next turn. That's good enough. Do these sh sh shooters kill? I think they do. Yeah, goodbye. Woo! Got him! Yeah, got him real good. Got him real, real good. Attack me. You know how it's gonna end anyway. Yeah. And now! Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't even let me. Okay, bro. Uh, GG! That's a plan. Yeah. Bro, you have 22 dragons. Why are you making map uh, for next turn? <laughs> okay, fine. That's, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Imagine being weak in desert and not finding Shen. I mean, I was playing with the same stuff as you then. Uh, huh? By the way, where were the dragon bosses? I think Nyx as well is one of them. Right? Um, hmm. So, how many Nyxes? I did one for some Red Dragoons. Yeah, that's what run amazing. 87 for Manitos. Okay. He did have, like, some Dragon Dwellings flag. He had, so, like, so many Dragon Dwellings on his side. It was kind of amazing for him. If I went over to this bunker, it would have been a neutral. With an Azer Dragon, actually. Wait, if we, I had Diplo, you could actually Diplo all of these. Like, Diplo these, Diplo these, take this. And that's, like, almost a pack of the uh, uh, Azer Dragons over here. <laughs> that's, uh, not something. By the way, Azer Dragons are kind of bad in the Vanalka, though, aren't they? Because you cannot protect them, and they can get chained. So they need to the protection, but not the chain. I guess you would have to, like, magic mirror them or something in order to be able to even play them. <laughs> that's kind of silly. Uh, anyway.